Funding for this program is brought to you by Alpha Natural Resources. We fuel progress around the world. We do this through the energy of our people. Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. On the web at camc.org forward slash kids to learn more about the 5210 initiative to keep kids healthy. The West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians in the entire healthcare community to improve public health. The West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, physicians insuring physicians. For more information, visit us online at www.wvmic.com. And by the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine is proud to support Abracadabra as part of its Healthy Children's Initiative, which is focused on improving the health of West Virginia's children. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Abracadabra. Oh, welcome, welcome. You're just in time for the newest invention. Oh, no, a new one? Oh, yeah, new and approved. Well, what's new and approved about it? It works. I see. Well, what is it? It's my tie washer. A tie washer? Yeah, Lenny has your tie. Oh, Joey, you've already tried cleaning my handkerchief and my socks and even my watch. What makes you think that this one's going to work? Oh, well, Salty helped me with it. Salty? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe then we'll try it. Okay, here's my tie. Okay, good. Now be careful with it. It's a very good tie. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll roll it up, stick it in. Okay, now I turn this crank. Yeah. And this crank. Yeah. And this one over here. Why are there so many cranks? It's a very cranky machine. I see. Uh, just a little humor, yes. And then I turn this one here, and voila, your tie. Oh, my tie. Okay, I, oh, oh, wait a moment. Uh, oh, Joey, my tie. Oh, I don't know what happened. I thought you said that Salty helped you with this. He did, and he couldn't figure it out either. Oh, Joey. <laughs> It's time to make a healthy choice. <laughs> it's time to play the Make a Healthy Choice game. I'm going to show you three products. You have to decide which one is healthier. Today, let's look at some fruit. We have yogurt with fruit, some fruit cocktail, and some fresh fruit. Which one is healthier? If you chose the fresh fruit, You'd be correct. The fresh fruit has 76 calories and two and a half teaspoons of sugar. The fruit cocktail only has 64 calories per serving, but it has three teaspoons of sugar. The low fat yogurt has 115 calories per serving, has about a quarter of a teaspoon of fat, and four and a half teaspoons of sugar. So the obvious choice is the fresh fruit. Make a healthy choice at home and you'll always be a winner. <laughs> yeah, oh boy, <laughs> I just love eating chocolates and sugar candies. <laughs> I can eat these all day long. <laughs> Hmm, now which one should I eat next? Yeah, Steenie, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Mike. Yeah, I'm eating candy. Glorious, sweet, chewy, delicious candy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you like one, Mike? Oh, Nestine, don't you know that all of this chocolate and candy is unhealthy for you? Ah, who cares? What? Uh, I mean, who cares about me being healthy? Well, I do for one. You? 
Sure, I care about everybody being healthy, and that means eating healthy foods and exercising regularly. Do you know how much sugar is in just one of these chocolates? No, but do tell, Mike. <laughs> Take a look at this. That's one and a half teaspoons. And do you know how much sugar is in all of this chocolate and candy in these bowls? Let me show you. This much, that's two and three quarters cups of sugar. <laughs> super! What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a super amount of sugar. It sure is. And you know, besides causing weight gain, all of this chocolate and sugar can also cause tooth decay. Tooth decay? Well, my teeth are in great shape. I've never gone to the dentist. You've never gone to the dentist? Never. But, Nastini, you're supposed to get regular dental checkups at least once or twice a year. That's how you keep your teeth healthy. Well, my teeth are fine. Yes, well, if you continue to eat all of this chocolate and candy, you're going to wind up with cavities. Even with this sugar-free, no-calorie chocolate? Oh, this I have to see. <laughs> no sugar added, no calorie chocolate. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Nastini! Gotcha! <laughs> Coming through. Coming through. I've got candy. Hi, Nassini. <laughs> oh, hi, kids. Hi, hi, Mike. What's that box? Oh, Nastini gave me this. It was supposed to contain no sugar added, no calorie chocolates, but it contained these spring balls. <laughs> Nastini's going to wind up with a toothache. You're right, Allison. You know, too much sugar can cause cavities, and Nastini has never been to the dentist. I just had my dental checkup last week. No cavities. Good for you. You know it's important to get regular checkups. Joey said that you have a new magic trick to show us. Oh, yes. I was just putting it together. Would you like to see it? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, this is the story of the king and the prince, and they lived in this beautiful castle. Well, the prince wanted to see the world, so he decided he was going to set off for an adventure. And the king wanted to give him a present to take with. So he gave him two choices. He said, you can have a block of gold, or you can have a juicy apple. Well, the prince had to think about this, and he said, you know what? I think I'd like the block of gold because with the block of gold, I can buy lots of apples. So the king said, okay. And he took the block of gold and he placed it in this pretty box. He put the lid on it and he gave that to the prince to take on his adventure. Well, the prince set off, but he found himself in the middle of a desert. And he was getting hungry and there was nobody around where he could trade his gold for food. So the prince was saying, boy, I wish I would have taken that apple. Well, what the prince didn't know is that the king was a magician. So when the prince opened up the box that was supposed to contain the gold, inside now was the apple. Wow. And the block of gold was back inside the castle. Wow. <laughs> Say, clock, what time is it? Hi, Daisy. Want some gooey candy? Nastini, you know that that's bad for you, and it can give you cavities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, I mean, Mike said the same thing, but my teeth are in great shape. No, oh, in my tooth. What's wrong, Nastini? No, nothing, nothing. Ow! My tooth! Nastini, do you have a toothache? Oh, my tooth! Daisy, do something! You need to go to the dentist right away. Yeah, I will not go to the dentist. Yeah, I've got to figure out another way to get rid of this toothache! Nastini! No! Nastini! Oh, my. Oh, what, what's that I hear? Why, it's the exercise song. Hey, mateys, are you at home? Stand up. Let's have a moment of exercise. Adults and parents, too. Here we go. Now it's time to exercise. You should do it every day. Exercise is healthy.
and get your body into shape. Start by stretching your arms and legs to warm your muscles up. You bend down slowly and touch your toes, and then you get back up. Now jump, jump, clap your hands at the top. Jumping Jack is your friend. And run, run, it's too fun to stop. Like you're racing the wind. Jump, jump, run, run. Jump, jump, run, run. Oh, hi. I was just putting some magic together for one of my customers, Les Daniels. You see, he... <coughs> duck! Oh, duck. I wish you'd quit doing that. Doing what? Appearing out of the blue in my hand. But it's fun. Yes, I'll bet. Uh, I was really trying to get on the counter, but there must be something wrong with my eyes. Oh, well, how about if I give you some eye exercises? Uh, okay. All right, here, come sit on the counter. And I have an idea. I want you to follow my finger. Okay, where is it going? Uh, it's not going anywhere, Doc. I just want you to follow it with your eyes. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. I uh, hear it. I, wait, 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 Doc, wait. No, Doc, wait, wait, wait. You're going the wrong way. No, it wasn't. It was the finger. <laughs> yes. All right, I have another idea. See, I've got this silk here. Yeah. Yes, and I want you to pretend that your bill is a pencil. A pencil? Yes. And that the silk is a piece of paper. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to cover you up here like that. It's dark under here. <laughs> That's okay. Now, the bill is a pencil. The silk is a piece of paper. I want you to write something. Oh, okay. Oh, that's very good, Duck. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, duck? 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 What? Duck? What are you doing? I'm using the eraser. Uh, the eraser? Oh, Duck. <laughs> See you later. Illusion. Uh, duck? Oh. Say, Mike, Mr. Daniels called. Oh, you know, I was just putting his order together right here. He wanted to tell you to add the appearing cane to his order. Oh, uh, wait, I think I have one back here. Let me see. Oh, yeah. There we go. He seems like a good customer. Oh, you know, he is a good customer. I remember the first time that he came into the magic shop. It was about a year ago, and we had been open all the Hi, can I help you? Oh, absolutely. I've got a meeting coming up. It's the most boring meeting, and I'd like to do a trick for the meeting to liven things up a little bit. I think I have just the thing for you. I'm Mike. Hey, hi, Mike. I'm uh, Les Daniels. Nice to meet nice you, Les. Nice to meet Come you. Come on over to the counter. Oh, thank you. Um, say, can I borrow your ring for a minute? <laughs> My ring? Are I, you sure? I promise it'll be okay. Absolutely promise. It'll be fine. This, this is a trick, right? Yeah, <laughs> not exactly. gonna... uh, Okay, this is, all right. This is uh, Joey's ring cleaner. Okay. So okay. It looks a little dirty, so I'm going to just clean your ring. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I need you to... Um, to have this little pen back here. Can you hold this? It's oh, sort yeah, of like a magic to. wand. Perfect, right? perfect. I'm gonna take the uh, ring cleaner and, oh, ooh, that sounds a little strange uh, to that me. Doesn't sound, my, my, uh, that doesn't uh, sound, uh, you sure it's okay? Yeah, yeah, I, I think it should be cleaner now. Let's just take a look and see. And I, uh -oh. oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Oh my ring. Oh, I am so sorry. Uh, I don't know what happened. I, oh, you know, let me pay you for this. I've got my wallet God, here. It, it can't be replaced. Well, oh, wait a moment. I have one more place to look. Okay. You see, in my wallet, there's a zippered compartment. Okay. And if I unzip the compartment, inside the compartment is an envelope. And if I take the envelope out and tear the envelope open, can I have your hand? Sure. Take a look inside oh, the envelope. On. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Your ring. <laughs> that's a great trick. You like that? I love it. I love it. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. It'd be perfect. Oh, that's great. I'll wrap it up for you. Thank you so much. I think you'll much. have a lot of fun with that. Now, an amateur can do this? Oh, I mean, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right, all right. There you go. And don't oh, forget oh, the, the pen. pen too. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much. You've been a great Pleasure. help. Thank take you. care, Les. Take bye bye. Care. Bye bye. today, Daisy. Well, I thought it would be fun to make apple bites. First, you take an apple and you slice it into four slices. 
Then you take out the core. I'm going to cut a wedge on the skin side of the apple, just like this. And pull that out. Now I'm going to take an almond and stick it in just like this. Can you do the rest? Yeah, sure. You want to put about nine to ten of those pieces inside the wedge. I'm going to make another one. Wow, they look like teeth. That's right. They only have 88 calories, have no added sugar, and they have one gram of fat. They're high in vitamins A and C and contain calcium, fiber, and iron. Wow, that's a lot better than candy. Thanks, Daisy. Yeah. Yeah, oh, my tooth aches. What am I going to do? <laughs> what? Who? You? What do you want? Can't you see that I have a toothache? Dentist, not you too. <laughs> Salty. Salty? Salty. Oh, matey, what can I do for you today? <laughs> well, hi, Salty. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, you look a little busy. Well, I was just tidying up a bit for me, huh? Grandmom Saltine. <laughs> yes, well, I, I was hoping that you could help me with the problem with Nastini. Nastini? What is that to boorish braggart bloke up to now? Well, you see, he has a toothache and he won't go to the dentist. What toothache? Yeah, you see, all of that sugar and chocolate that he's been eating has finally caught up with him, and he, now he has tooth decay and cavities. Well, it serves him right. Now, uh, let me tell you how he handled toothaches on board me ship. We'll have to pull his tooth. <laughs> pull his tooth? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. You see, I just want you to help me convince him that he needs to go to the dentist so that he can get his cavities taken now, care of. This is what we did for me third mate, Toothless Tom. <laughs> toothless Tom? Yes, uh, you see, first I tied a string around the bad tooth, and then I throw the other end of the string up to Bob Four Apples, who's in the crow's nest. He wraps it around the mast three times, and then I tossed Toothless Tom into the torrent, thereby extracting the offending tooth. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. Well, it worked for Toothless Tom. Oh, yeah, Toothless Tom. Well, that's his name uh, now. He used to be Two Teeth Tom. <laughs> Till I uh, pulled those last two teeth. Oh, wait a moment, wait a moment. Two teeth? Now, Toothless? What happened to the other tooth? Well, uh, Got a bit carried away when I was tying the string and, and accidentally tied it around the good tooth as well. Accidents happen. Well, need to get back to me cleaning, uh, so uh, let me know if Nastini wants me to pull his tooth. Ta-ta for now. Uh, wait, I, uh, s uh, salty? Oh. It's time for a quick trick. I have three cards, a five, a seven, and an ace. Remember the center card, the seven of peppers. Can you take the center card and make it change? Sure you can. I'll show you how after this. Today's quick trick is brought to you by green beans. I love green beans. Do you know that green beans have other names? They are also called string beans, and some call them snap beans because they make a snapping sound when you bend them in half. There are over 130 varieties of green beans. Some aren't even green. They can be white, purple, gold, and even red. A full cup of green beans only has 34 calories. Green beans are high in vitamin K. That's the vitamin that helps keep your bones strong. They are also high in vitamin C and vitamin A. They also have 
a lot of fiber. Put them all together and you have green beans. I love them hot for dinner and I love them cold for a snack. Try some and you'll love them too. Yeah. And now here's the quick trick secret. You actually need four playing cards. Take one of the playing cards and cut it in half, like that. Then take that half and place it face down on the top of another card. I've already taped that to a card just to save some time. You wind up with a little flap, see that? Now take the second card and place it underneath the flap so it's sort of hidden and place the third card over that one. Now it looks like you have three cards, but actually you have a flap and a hidden card and the third card. To perform, show the three cards, ask your audience to remember the center one, the seven of peppers, and turn them over. Then take out the center card. Actually, they think you're taking out the seven of peppers, but you're really taking out the king. Okay. Place it face down on the table, and then move these two cards up so you lose the flap. See, the flap disappears. Now when you show it again, you show those two cards and you show that the Seven of Peppers has changed to another card. That's the Quick Trick secret. For more Quick Tricks, be sure to check out our website. In the meantime, try this one at home and have some fun. Let's play the grocery shelf game. When you go into the store, there are many products on the shelves. How do you decide which ones to buy? Here are some items from the grocery shelves. Can you select the three items that I should put into my shopping basket? Which ones would you choose? How about an apple? Yes! That's right, because fresh fruit is always a good choice. What about cheese puffs? No, because they're fried in oils and it's bad for you. How about baked tortilla chips? Yes! Yes, they're much better for you than the cheese puffs. What about regular potato chips? No! No, because they have a lot of fat and salt in them. How about pretzels? Yes, because they're baked and have low fat. So that's better for you. That'll be our third item for the basket today. So the next time you go to the grocery store, pick the healthy items off the shelves and you'll be a winner. Oh, my tooth! Do something, Mike! Now, Steenie, you need to go to the dentist. Allison's right. Why don't you go, now, Steenie? Ah, because he'll use a drill, and it will hurt. And I can't stand that noise. It won't hurt. The dentist is going to give you something to numb it, now, Steenie. You won't feel a thing. Oh, uh, what? And my dentist lets me listen to music, so I can't hear the noise. That makes me feel better, too. Really? Sure. Well, why didn't you tell me this before? I'm heading to the dentist. Hi, Nastini. How's your toothache? Out of my way. I have to get to the dentist. Oh, by the way, would you like a piece of chocolate? Nastini. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yum. Ow! My tooth! Hi, everybody. Hey, hey Daisy. Daisy! I just saw Nastini. He was heading to the dentist. Well, thank goodness for that. I like to eat a piece of chocolate or candy occasionally, too. That's all right, Allison. It's okay to eat a sweet occasionally, just not all the time like Nastini. And make sure to brush your teeth regularly, too. It helps prevent the sugar from causing decay. Yeah, you should see my toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking any chances when it comes to brushing. <laughs> what is the right way to brush your teeth? Brush your teeth two times a day. Brush each time two minutes, I say. Side to side and up and down. Back and forth and round about. Clean all the teeth inside your mouth. And rinse with water and spit it out. 
brush your teeth two times a day brush each time two minutes i say brush in front and then in back brush away the germs and plaque it only takes a little while but that's the way to keep your smile brush your teeth two times a day brush each time two minutes i say side to side and up and down then rinse with water and spit it out brush your teeth two, two times, times a day brush each time two, two minutes, minutes i say side to side and up and down back and forth and round about clean all the teeth inside your mouth then rinse with water and spit it out brush your teeth ooh, two times a day ooh, brush each time ooh, two minutes i say I sure hope Nastini made it to the dentist. I hope so, Joey. What are you going to put in your journal today? Well, today I learned that eating candy is unhealthy for you. It can cause cavities and tooth decay. That's right. You know, it's okay to eat a piece of candy occasionally, but not every day and certainly not a lot. And I learned it's important to brush your teeth twice a day. And be sure to get regular dental checkups. Say, Nike, what time is it when the elephant sits on your car? I don't know, Joey. What time is it? Time to get a new car. I, say goodbye, Joey. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being my friend. And remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Funding for this program is brought to you by Alpha Natural Resources. We feel progress around the world. We do this through the energy of our people. Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. On the web at camc.org forward slash kids to learn more about the 5210 initiative to keep kids healthy. The West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians in the entire healthcare community to improve public health. The West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, physicians insuring physicians. For more information, visit us online at www.wvmic.com. And by the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine is proud to support Abracadabra as part of its Healthy Children's Initiative, which is focused on improving the health of West Virginia's children.